So we started our London journey with a trip to King's Cross and Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Oh, if only I had some red vines, it would make this perfect. We saw a statue of John Betjeman, which Dad posed next to. Hazel and Dad enjoyed a game of ping pong, free, in the station. It might look like a pit, but that's the surface of some oil. This is 2050, the most amazing piece of art at the Saatchi Gallery. All those speakers came close, and this is the most amazing clock I've ever seen, which I've doubled in speed so that you could see the transition. Hazel and I then vlogged a bit as we walked on the street, but I managed to say Leicester Square instead of Trafalgar Square, and so then we get there. And that's the plinth that I stood on last year, which now has a ship on, which is quite an interesting piece of art. It's the labyrinth, and I... We, we choose the labyrinth! This guy was blowing bubbles on the street, quite a cool piece of art. And this guy was drawing pictures of Megan Fox, so there you go. And we got to the gathering, and this was when everyone got together, so you get to see a load of people just stood, waiting for Tom to explain something. These are our closer friends from the group, and Hazel's face, and then more people walking around. And then this is Steve and Jen, and his suitcase we can name Charlie. It's a Saturday morning, and me and Hazel have come to the V&A, so we can look at some clothes in the textiles exhibition. Umbridge style clothes. So first group hug of the day and we ran to meet Jen and Rach and then a second group hug of the day which was a lot bigger and more ridiculous and quite squishy. Then it rained a lot so we went to stand under a massive tree and lots of people had umbrellas and we accidentally crashed a picnic of someone whose birthday it was and there's a guy in affairs, you know, well cool. We can't see our faces right now but we're in exactly the same space we were last year for the gig so it feels great. On the Sunday morning we went on a tour of the East End to see where the Olympic Stadium is being built and this is the Olympic Stadium which we saw later on in the tour but this woman was very strange and told some very interesting facts. We're heading up as I say towards the future. The Olympic Stadium is totally surrounded by water. So we went to the Science Museum on the Sunday afternoon, just a small group of us, here's Anders looking amazed, and some very old fashioned vacuums and a modern one just wiggling away on the ceiling and then we played with this motion sensor thing and just managed to trick it into so he could actually hit the ball unlike that small child whose arms weren't long enough and so our summer in the city experience has come to an end i mean we're still gonna be in london but we're not like gathering anymore it's a little bit sad especially because we've just said goodbye to our friends and then I managed to cut off the camera instead of continuing to film. So here's some more footage of some more ducks on the river in Durham when I was rowing the other day. Our next video will be of our Edinburgh weekend when we get to see, of all people, John Green.